Welcome collectors and hobby enthusiasts to part four of the HO files. In this part, we will be examining both the bank that I have and also the 24-7 convenience store. So I decided to do these because one, they're relatively small, and also they're, you know, right next to each other, so why not kill two birds with one stone in this particular video? Both of these are made by, I believe the company is called MX, uh, which is an interesting company that makes, obviously, uh, HO scale products, including these ready-made structures. They offer a variety of products of ready-made buildings. These are just two examples. Uh, the one on the left is a 24-7 convenience store, uh, not based on any particular one, um, for lack of a better term. And the one on the right is the Center State Bank. So again, if you're not familiar with the term ready-made or built-up, these essentially are not structure or model kits that you have to make. They come fully constructed, and essentially you just have to take them out of the box and then find a place on your layout and stick them on there and you're ready to go. Now, the thing with these, unlike the Menard structures and buildings, is that they don't come with any extra accessories, uh, such as, you know, ports for plug-in lights or people or vehicles uh, or, or, obviously, Jack the German Shepherd that comes with every Menard's building. Uh, they just simply come with the structures themselves. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with the building on the left, which, again, is the 24-7 convenience store. Really... It has a good amount of detail, nothing striking. Obviously, you can, once you get this, you can really go crazy with it and customize it. You could really redo it and paint it and make it, uh, for example, a Speedway if you want to, or name it in whatever convenience store you want. What is neat is that it, it does have a lot of, if you allow me to move these structures and or these vehicles and people out of the way, it does have a lot of decals on the windows and doors to add a little bit of detail as you can see here uh, they have eight up which is a pretty funny reference to seven up super sale over here groceries here uh, open right here and their hours on the door Again, super sale here, coffee, ice cream, coffee, breakfast, breakfast, super sale. And then right here on the top right, you have 724. You have some windows here. On the right side of the building, again, just some windows. On the back, again, there is some detail. And then on what would be the left side of it, or I guess the right side, depending on what what angle you're looking at it, there is a side entrance door, but obviously the most appealing aspect is the front of it. So again, you have some painted brick, obviously this is lined and painted, and then the red siding on the front of it. It is noticeably heavy, both of these structures have some good significant weight to it. There's what the other side looks like. I'm not entirely sure what these are made out of. I can tell you that it doesn't feel like it's plastic. It's significantly heavier than that. Um, but they are nice, ready-built structures. And uh, if you just want an example of a convenience store or, you know, in the next case of a bank, you're good to go. Now, for the accessories that I have around this one, I have just a uh, refrigerated truck. This, again, is offered by Walther's Scene Master. This is stock. There's absolutely nothing done to this truck. Here's your refrigeration unit in front of the box. Uh, once again, you can easily add decals to this truck to make it say whatever you want um, or have whatever company logo you want on it. But this is how it comes directly out of the blister. I also had a Woodland Scenics fire hydrant on the side of the building that is very tiny but pretty detailed. I uh, had a lady in a dress and what you probably noticed is when you get to this part of the layout um, I actually have it by season so there's there's three seasons I have you know just summer with general greenery um, I have winter with obviously some snow 
and then fall, which is this part of the layout where you can obviously see people have some uh, some longer and some warmer clothes on, and obviously the uh, fall trees with the yellow, the orange, and the red. So just something that I like to do kind of as you transition throughout the layout, it goes through three different seasons, uh, which is the cool thing. One of the cool things about living here in Ohio is that uh, you actually do get to experience all three seasons. So kind of cool there. So there's this lady. As for the vehicles, I had an old Ford F-150 made by Atlas. These are pretty cool. Um, mostly plastic. Uh, no Ford badge. These were late 90s releases, and uh, they didn't have the greatest amount of detail on them, but they're pretty nice trucks. Had a Model Power New York State Crown Vic State Trooper. Also not a bad cop car. Had a Rico or Ryko or whichever way you would like to pronounce that company. They make a very nice HO scale models. This is a Lexus RS 350. Offered in a couple different colors. I chose black. And then a model power, what is this, an Audi, what? Hold on. Audi A6, maybe? Sedan in maroon. And you can't ever go wrong with the famous Audi front end. So that is the convenience store. Transitioning now to the center bank. Um... Again, this is made by uh, MX, made out of the same material as the convenience store was. So again, it has some hefty weight to it, some nice detailing. You can see the uh, kind of, I guess you would call that, what would you call that? An awning, maybe? It's really nice. Uh, the windows say Center State Bank. You have open here and obviously a, what looks appears to be a glass door. Um, or at least a blue door with a glass window. Uh, obviously, red brick for the main part of the building. Black roof on the side. Uh, set of four windows. Three on the back and a back entrance. And then four more on this side. Same thing underneath. It's a shame that these windows actually aren't see-through because there are plenty of kits available for like interior decorating where you can have tables where you could actually model some bank tellers and things like that which would be really really cool uh, but at the same time at this affordable price price point you really can't complain too much and again you can have your own decals and make this a key bank for example uh, a general electric credit union and whatever bank you you use or would like to use there's, there's just two examples. Now, for the vehicles, probably the most interesting is this custom international armored car. So this started life as a, ma as a Matchbox $1 uh, toy, basically. And I repainted it in the Dunbar armored colors. I added some mirrors to the truck added some realistic tires and wheels to it and obviously I made my own decal stickers based off of reference photos I also took some steel wire and added those to the front of it just to add a little bit more detail I think it turned out halfway decent now I painted this or finished this truck up like right before Dunbar was basically bought out um, but I, I think I read that they're going to stay in service throughout 2020 or something like that before Brinks completely takes them over, buys them out. But anyway, that's the armored truck. And I even put a, again, it's very hard to, very hard to see on the back of here. And, uh, the camera is not focusing despite my best efforts, but that white sticker says, how's my driving? And it has a phone number on it. But that's the International Armored Car for the bank. As for the 
people. I have them sitting on a little bench here. Which uh, I'm not sure what that's from. I think it might be another Woodland Scenics kit. Another guy walking. Looks like he's carrying a bag of money or something. And then just some customer vehicles off to the side. Old red Mercedes-Benz. I think this is an SL500 uh, by Welly. And this is a spectacular model over here by a company called BOS, which is an acronym for Best of Show. This is a 2003 Hummer H2. So these BOS models are a little steep in price, but they look quite good. So there's the Hummer. Final two, I have a Viking Audi TT in a yellowish orange color. Not the not the factory color I would have chose. Uh, I would have chosen, but you know, to each their own. And then last but certainly not least, we have again one of the new modern era vans by Woodland Scenics. So there you have it, guys. That concludes part four of the HO files covering the convenience store and the center bank. Let me know what you guys think, if you like these two buildings, and uh, really appreciate the support that the first three videos have gotten so far in this series. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned because we have a whole lot more to cover, and stay tuned for the upcoming videos in this series. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.